Coenger and his Taiwan People's Party have had a very difficult week. Can you tell us a little bit about this latest scandal? This whole thing broke, and this is two, um, I guess you could say, influencers. And the two of them did some investigating into uh, the TPP's finances, and the and then the TPP had to hold a press conference admitting there were irregularities in 17 entries uh, for over 18 million NT. So big questions about you know these irregularities. Now the party claimed that the these were accounting errors, and then at the same time. Uh, more details start coming out. So, for example, um, a lunchbox is costing 900 and some odd thousand spent on tissues, uh, 400 and some odd thousand spent at one campaign rally in Thailand. Kerr has tried to build his brand based on efficient governance and clean governance. Do you think these scandals are something that he can possibly recover from, or is it going to be too much? It really looks very bad that you know, Ann Gao, his vice mayor, the companies that he, hand, you know, handed all of his marketing to, you know, the, the, all these people around him that he presumably chose are being investigated for corruption. Now, if they're found guilty, that will be a pretty serious blow to people's um, perception of his abilities uh, to run anything, really. Um, but if it if this goes up the chain and he becomes embroiled in it, um, you know, then definitely his career is finished. Now, I don't know if he can bounce back even from just surrounding himself by corrupt people. I, I, I don't know. Um, you know. Again, we're going to have to see how this plays out. Kerr and the TPP surprised a lot of people with their strong performance in January's elections, getting 20 percent of the vote countrywide. Where do you think those supporters are going to go now if they decide that they don't want to keep supporting Kerr and the TPP? And I think that I think that the third part of, of your question there's probably what's going to happen with a lot of these people. A lot of them are going to go back to being independents who may lean one way or lean a, another. Um, I think that ultimately the kind of people who supported the TPP I think ultimately are looking for a third party. And if a viable new third party were to appear, I think that they might go toward that. But I think that really there is a hunger out there among a certain percentage of the voting public for something that is not the DPP and something that is not the KMT.